Today on This Week in Iowa, a discussion about the tariff trade truce and its impact on Iowa farmers. Then a group of Iowa doctors aren't on board with medical marijuana. Find out why. Plus a conversation with Attorney General Tom Miller and a look at new voter data in the midterms and what it tells us about the future. Hi, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us here on This Week in Iowa. I'm Sabrina Ahmed. We start today with a conversation about Iowa's soybean market and the continued impact of trade tariffs on our farmers' bottom line. This week, President Trump announced a U.S.-China trade truce that would benefit farmers. The president says he will not increase tariffs on hundreds of billions of dollars of Chinese goods, up to 25 percent. That's from 10 percent. And China, then, will purchase a very substantial amount of American goods. We're talking soybeans, beef, oranges, pistachios, but not pork. Now joining me now to talk about this trade truce and what it means to Iowa farmers is Kirk Leeds, the CEO of the Iowa Soybean Association. Kirk, thank you so much for being here. It's great to be here. Thank you. So tell us first of all, what was your reaction to the president's announcement? Well, we certainly were appreciative of any positive news coming out of the administration. As you know, it's been a very difficult uh, several months on the soybean side. We virtually lost the entire Chinese market when the tariff war began. So to get any kind of positive indication out of the meeting out of Argentina was positive. However, we, there's very little detail. So where we're going from here is not clear. I guess we'll have to see. Which leads me to, since the announcement, a lack of clarity would be an understatement. Um, what China agreed to and then when it's going to happen, does this help or hurt Iowa farmers all this instability? Well, I think the markets, not only uh, soybean prices, but if you look at Wall Street, what's happened, there's a lot of uncertainty about what this agreement's about. One of the things I said right after the meeting, the only thing that's certain is that they had a very good dinner. And beyond that, it's not clear at all what kinds of agreements. In the last couple of days, we've seen the Chinese come out with some positive media reports as well, indicating they are going to make some purchases. But the reality for Iowa farmers, until the 25% tariff goes away, you're not going to see many soybeans being shipped to China. Okay, so that was my question. Do you foresee any soybeans being purchased by China in the near future? Well, you know, we have that 25% tariff, which right. makes our beans more expensive than, uh, than Brazilian. It's possible the Chinese government, because they own all the largest uh, soy crushers, they may make a political decision to go ahead and import some U.S. soybeans with the tariff in place and simply refund it, if you will, to the buyers at the other end. Mm -hmm. Again, when you're in an economy that's controlled by the government, by the Communist Party, they can make decisions that uh, normal transactions wouldn't occur. So, yes, it's possible. But you've got to keep in mind the window for exports of U.S. soybeans to China begins right after harvest right. and closes at the end of January, early February. So every week that goes by, that window to really export U.S. soybeans is beginning to close. So what happens to all these soybeans? Well, we have a record a projected carryover of soybeans, almost a billion bushels of soybeans in the United States. Farmers and the co-ops that, uh, that they own We'll store those soybeans. Now, we're continuing to try to sell those soybeans to other markets in the world, but it's going to be very, very difficult to replace the largest market, which is China. Right. Uh, so one thing that President Trump tweeted out after the G20 summit, said, he said that he was a tariff man. That's not good news for you. No, we, we don't want tariffs in agriculture, and I think most Americans really don't want tariffs as well. Tariffs have rarely worked in order to get any kind of political agendas through. We want trade. Uh, soybeans are an export crop. They've been an export crop for a long time. About 60% of all the soybeans grown in the U.S. are exported. Mm -hmm. So whenever we have these kinds of disruptions caused by trades and, and counter tariffs, uh, we have a terrible disruption, and that's why we're going to have the largest carryover in U.S. history, almost twice as large as we've ever had at the end of the year. Do you see an end in sight? Well, I'm I optimistic by, by nature because I work for farmers who are some of the most optimistic people in the world. But i I'd be honest with you, I think we've got a long way to go. I personally don't think we're ever going to see us completely recover in the Chinese market. At the end of the day, uh, China can buy soybeans from other places in the world. I think you're going to see a significant investment by the Chinese in South America. You're going to see grassland and some tropical forest brought into soybean production. Uh, we, you know, the same time that uh, President Trump had dinner uh, with the Chinese, uh, the Chinese were announcing a billion dollar investment in, in rail in Argentina in order to diversify their supply. Okay. So, yeah, I think we'll get some of that market back, but I don't think we're ever going to get it all back. So we got a lot of work to do. Yeah, and once they make those relationships and build that infrastructure, 
it's gone. You teach your customers to buy from somebody else, it's hard to get them back. Okay, very quickly, tell me how farmers are feeling. Well, I think the farmers generally continue to support this president. Uh, they know that these issues that he's fighting with China have been around since the Clinton administration. They want to see some changes in protection of intellectual property, but they are getting tired of paying the full price of this trade war. Thank you very much. We appreciate you being here. It's always great to see you. Thank you very much.